Hello friends, this is Gaurav. It's been a long time that I've uploaded any videos. Due to common cold and this winter, I spent a lot of time sleeping and watching anime. So again, here I am continuing the series of AI Assistant. So in this video, we will learn how to automate stuff. And we will learn by experimenting with Spotify automation. So you can download, you can like the video, you can uh, bookmark or you can add to playlist. There are many options we can do with the automation. So let's start with it. So here is the demo, what we will achieve in both part of the Spotify automation. Open Spotify. Okay, sir. Opening Spotify. Like this song. Done. That's my favorite song too. Add this song to the anime song playlist. The song has been added to the playlist. Download this song. Downloading has started. Estimated file size is 8 MB. Okay, the first thing we have to do is to open the login page of this Spotify and to do so we are using Selenium automation and here I am creating a file main.py and you need to install a package named Selenium, pip install Selenium. I have already installed so I am directly importing from Selenium import web driver. Creating a variable name option as equals to webdriver.chrome options so it's mentioned in the documentation. Next headless equals to true so you can use this statement it's not that important but for false it's mandatory next the driver's path so it's the most important you need to install the chrome driver as per the version of your chrome and my version is 97 and i've already installed the package of 97 any package you can use to install and you have to give the path and the destination so i've installed in my current working directory and giving the path of the working directory of the chrome driver so copying and paste Okay, so if you are getting a version error, so you need to see the error box and download the respective version of the driver. Okay, so to open a page, we need to just call driver.get URL and defining a variable URL is equals to the link which we have to open and that's the login page of this Spotify. Next, we are just running how it works. As you can see, it worked perfectly. And next what we have to do is to put the input as email and password. So we have to put our email here and password here. First we are creating a function login and we have to find an element from the website which is login and password. So find element and by dot as you can see by is a function from the selenium. So we have to import it by and by dot there are many multiple ways to find the element so for example this is select css selector xpath ids and there are many other so for example we are taking xpath in case and we are we have to give the path of the xpath address and you can find this extension from the chrome and you need to install or you can directly inspect it but th this is alternative for inspecting so we have we are going to try and see what's the difference in uh, inspection and the extension now we are copying and pasting it in the uh, space here and sometimes it takes double quotes sometimes it takes single quotes so make sure to see that and send is used to put the text in the box and we are getting the email as an input and password so we will use this email and password and make a config file for that Next, I am pasting here the for so that we can compare what's the main expert difference between extension and the inspection. So, firstly, I am doing by inspecting, and here, as you can see, the option copy as path and pasting here. So, both are same basically, and sometimes it differs. So, you need to see which one works, and you need to put that. Next we are taking the password 
and the password so we have to change the address and let's try with inspection and the extension both so similarly i am taking here as a password and clicking on the button and copy as path next i am pasting above the password section and here now i will try with the extension or uh, see there might be difference or it might be similar uh, so the both are same as you can see by commenting both are same and here i am changing the address now we have to click on the login button and we are using the extension and trying to get the xpath so i have copied it and here i am duplicating the line here by ctrl d and changing the address here so selecting and just as you can see the path is pretty big so next we have to change the change the syntax uh, in the end dot click is used to click the button or anything clickable in the web page here i am commenting this as an address and next we are testing with the inspect button and we will inspect that button and copy the xpath i am closing the extension and copying the xpath as you can see this is the button and copying the xpath so there is pretty huge difference in the address line and as you can see you can use the both and by doing the experiment which one works which one work fast you need to search it out you need to work with on it you need to work on it so i am replacing the address and deleting all the address that was just for example and the comparison now i am just calling the function and you can directly give email and password here but i am creating a new file uh, config.py so that it can hold my password and username so can it can be uh, it will be encrypted and so you can you guys cannot see that here i am just importing config file next uh, after putting the email and password i'm calling the config file import config and you can directly call by config.username and password next i'm just moving the get url in the function okay so i'm commenting here what we have did so far previously we click on the button and before that we put the index uh, we put the email and password for input okay so let's run the code and as you can see it automatically puts email and password and login so in order to open full screen mode we have to just put driver dot maximize window so next time it will open in full screen mode we find the element by the xpath now we will try to find the element with the css selector for a fact that the select css selector work faster than xpath but sometimes the element does not get its path and it does not work so we use uh, alternative for that is css selector or xpath so you just need to experiment and try what's which works and if it's CSS selector then it's best or alternative is xpath so here i am just copying the template and replacing xpath with css selector and also removing the addresses so to get a address of css selector again there are two ways first you can download an extension or use an inspect button to inspect an element and get a css selector and you can visit selectorhub.com and go to the extension and download it and after a few minutes you will see a new option in inspect button after inspecting there is an option select a hub section and you can copy all the paths you can see here and explore you can see an experiment whatever so i am copying all the addresses of the element from the selector hub and pasting it in ide so let's come in xpath and try with css selector and here i am running the file As you can see it first switch with the maximum window size and automatically put the addresses and it worked perfectly login successfully okay guys so here is the end of the part one in the next part we will learn how to download add to playlist and like the video we will create a function and see the automation process how it works this was the end of part one so see you guys in the next video bye bye
Thank you.